Hello there, everyone. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Welcome here to CT Style. Happy Monday, Teresa. We have a uh, special thing I going have a on. big smile on my face. We're so happy because Mickey <laughs> D's is here. McDonald's. Stop by and brought us McMuffins and coffee. coffee. Yes. Can I tell you how much I love Egg McMuffins? I have a hard time driving by a McDonald's in the morning without stopping. And not going? And not going. That's how much I love it. It was the only food I craved in my first, first trimester. trimester. And I hear that uh, anytime you're down, by getting you an this egg McMuffin. This is a funny story. <laughs> yeah, tell us the story I worked real quick. with the same photographer every morning for about four years. And we did that overnight shift when I was reporting. And sometimes I wasn't always so happy in the morning. Yes. And without any sort of question, he would automatically drive to a McDonald's and get me an egg McMuffin. And the day was fixed. So now we're going to have a daily shipment of McMuffins <laughs> sent here All it takes is an egg studio. McMuffin, I'm telling you. That's all it is. I am going to take a bite of this, so you all continue right. reading. As you eat, we would like to salute our fan of the day. Drum roll, please. It is Pam Ramirez Salas. Is it Salas or Salas? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, close enough. <laughs> well, thanks for watching anyway, Pam, because uh, she, she always likes us on Facebook. And she had a lot of great ideas. She did. For, she was helping us out with our style spin, so we're probably going to be incorporating some of those in. And, of yeah. course, if anyone at home has any ideas, we'd love to hear about it. All you have to do is uh, connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Conversation never stops. Absolutely. Now, uh, here is what is brewing today, Teresa. Uh, there's a different way to connect with people, not just on social media, but there is now CuddleCon. It is the first convention for people to cuddle. It's going to be held in Portland, Oregon, and it's on Valentine's Day. So if you're single, get a little flight out there. Uh, should be interesting. So the woman behind the convention is Samantha Hess. You're looking at her on the screen there, a professional cuddler. She actually started a business, Cuddle Up To Me, which provides unconditional love and acceptance for $60 an hour. Is that? That sounds like something else. I don't else. want to cross uh, the line into prostitution or anything, hmm. but if you're, like, what are you getting for $60 I an hour? I don't know. Like, it's... Hugs? I don't know. It should just be There free. seems to be a fine line there. Yeah, that's and a little weird. And are you cuddling I... strangers? Well, well what, what, like, <laughs> what makes her a cuddling expert? Do, has I don't she know. just cuddled? I, I don't know. All right, well, anyways, CuddleCon is open <laughs> to anybody, regardless of your relationship status, uh, and no past cuddling experience is required. So there's a... A good thing to know. Other things going on at the CuddleCon convention? Yep. Dance lessons, fun games and laughter. There's a reason to go. <laughs> yes. You can get that right here on CT Style though. Or piggyback rides. You can also have piggyback rides there. Uh, pillow fights and snuggly surprises. I don't know what that means. I think the whole thing's a little odd, <laughs> but we're going to move on. It's nice for a, Valentine's Day, right? I think that's Day, a right? great idea. Yeah, let's keep it moving here. All right, so the <laughs> Business Insider came up with a list of surprising words you're probably mispronouncing. So to demonstrate this, we thought it would be fun to play a little bit of a game here. A little name game here, right? Yeah. You, you want to go first or you want me to go? Go ahead. Okay. You should show me one of yours. All right, so I'm going to show you guys the word here. There it is. And I'm going to show Teresa very quickly. So here is the word. Comptroller. Comptroller. State comptroller. It is actually pronounced controller. It's a person who's in charge of financial accounts, but it is uh, pronounced controller, not comptroller. Well, I look pretty dumb there. Give me another to redeem myself. All right. <laughs> Next up, we have, here you go, you see it? There it is, Teresa. Realtor. Realtor, it's realtor. Realtor? A realtor, someone that sells houses. Realtor. I'm, I'm just reading the cue card. Now. Okay, here, I'll give you one. <laughs> All right. Kabosh. I think you said that correctly. Yeah. Put, put a stop to something. Kibosh. Put the kibosh on it. I right, put the kibosh. And then uh, here's here's my, or no, you do one more and then we'll. All right, here we go. Uh, prestigious. 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 Prestigious, that's yeah. what it says. You can see how, how well we did in, in vocab <laughs> class. And your mom is a teacher, so I'm sure she she'll is. be very happy. Everyone will be so proud of me. All right, All right what do you have Next there? Next up we have this one. There it is, Teresa. Orange sherbet? It is sherbet. No, so it's not. These, it, no, it's not. It's, it's sherbet. <laughs> it's sherbet. What are you from, Boston? Ah, go pack the car and have no, some sherbet. How would you would say that? I don't know. I would and the last that. one we have here is? Supposedly. 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 Okay, That's so good. You passed. At least I got one right. Now, it is.